Hello Libra. Welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. This is your weekly tarot forecast. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. That way you won't miss any of the weekly tarot readings that we do for your sign, all right? So let's get into it. What is on your mind? What does Libra need to know? What is the message coming through for Libra for this coming week? And the first card today is that Four of Discs. So let's put this card down. Let's lay down the rest of our Dove and Serpent spread. And that is going to include this confirmation card, mystery card, bonus card. We're not going to look at this until the very end. Okay, so stick around until the end of the video. And hopefully that will tie the reading together, give us that confirmation that we need, or just reveal that kind of missing piece of the puzzle, right, that we're, that we're looking for at the end. So let's see here. We have some air, some earth, some fire. A couple of major arcana cards. What do we have missing here but water? There are really no water cards here. So I think right off the bat, initially, there there is this focus on the emotional, intuitive, feeling, maybe like value kind of energy that doesn't seem to be active in your life right now. Okay, so it could be that you're feeling kind of a lack of connection with people or you're feeling a, a lack of emotional involvement with people or with things or with events right now. That crackling sound, just the salamanders and the ca candle flame, all right? So we started out with that four of discs. So this is telling me that the, the issue for you this week really is your kind of um, the stability, safety, and security of your life right? So with the four of discs here, this is about the, the, uh, the structured nature, the good foundation, the good balance and security of your fitness or your finances, your health or your wealth or both, right? It's about this stability in the physical realm. And this could be something like uh, focusing on that job security, focusing on um, getting all of your basic needs met uh, in, in terms of your domestic life, right? Making sure all the bills are paid, making sure you've got all the food and all, et cetera. So it's really about those foundational elements, right? And again, this is either in terms of, you know, your domestic, your living situation, your home, or it's the workplace. It could be all of these things. It could also be your physical health, right? Trying to get back into a, a routine of fitness and well-being, you know, starting your, your daily walks again, your yogic exercises, whatever it may be. It could be, um, again, all of these things that are um, helping you to kind of rebuild this foundation for your life, like reestablish all of that safety, security, stability in your health, your wealth, fitness, finances, okay? So that's what we see with the four of discs. It's like that you're building up these walls. You're really trying to get the foundation cemented in so that you can start building upward, right? And what we see crossing your path this week in terms of that building up of these foundations, we see a four, another four, four of swords. Now, since you are obviously a Libra, and that is an air sign, this is an air card, I really feel like this card is trying to represent you reaching out to kind of reconcile with people that you may have had some conflict with. You know what I mean? This card is ruled by, by Jupiter in Libra, so this card is very much in tune with your energy right now. And I think this is you really not being happy with any kind of friction going on between you and some other people. Now, looking at some of these other cards, I don't really see much of an indication if this is with um, a friend, family member, a romantic partner, maybe a coworker, maybe just someone in your group of friends, right? There's really no strong indication either way. This could be just a general, a general theme in your week this week that is kind of urging you to not so much make amends with people that you have conflict with, but just to kind of put an end to any quarrels, any um, conflicts, any friction that you have with other people this week, right? This is really a card about resolving any issues that are still lingering, 
putting an end to any kind of uh, existing conflicts or arguments or any tension between you and other people, right? So this, you know, on the flip side of that, there's there are those salamanders again. Um, on the flip side of this, it could be that someone else is going to be reaching out to you in order to resolve this conflict, right? Uh, and whether this is you reaching out to someone or them coming to you, I think this is an important theme for you this week, is to reconcile any of these lingering issues that you have with someone or, or a group of people, right? It could be either way. But uh, again, whether that's you reaching out or them coming to you, I think it's very important to you this week, very important for you, to get this cleared up. Whatever the issue is that's kind of lingering, whatever tension or conflict or friction you have. And again, looking around, I see that one person that it might be um, up here on the path of the serpent, but we'll get to that in just a moment. Regardless of who it is or who really makes the first step, I think the theme really is that while you're focused on this fitness, finances, health and wealth, stability, safety, security, right? Really trying to uh, set down your roots, really build your foundation. In order for you to really get on with that and maybe to get past this foundational stage, it's really going to, you're going to have to clear whatever air is, is still lingering here with this situation, right? In order to, for you to move into the future, and we see the future is a very important card here, which we're going to get to in just a second. The future is very important and it's a really, it's a big, it's kind of, it's a big path for you. It's a big doorway that you're, you're stepping into. But before you get there, I think there are some lingering issues that need to be cleared up. Now, before we get to what that future looks like, I want to mention this Empress card down here beneath the surface, kind of below all of this energy, right? Below this four of discs, this four of swords. Underneath it all is this empress. I wonder if this lingering issue that we're talking about, that's kind of like the last thing, you've got to clear this up before you can move into the future. I wonder if this may have to do with um, a maternal figure, maybe your mom, maybe an older sibling or a grandmother or an older aunt, someone that has a very maternal energy with you. Someone maybe who took part in raising you or was a, a very important part of your childhood or of your, you know, your upbringing. Because with this Empress card here down below, it really is a lot of the times pointing us to some issues with a mother figure. Okay. Especially in this position, which is beneath the surface. What is, what is underneath all of this energy, right? And so I wanted to get to this card pretty quickly and say that I think this may be part of what's going on here. This may be really what needs to be cleared up. Maybe there is some issue with this person and there is still some kind of static, some kind of tension, friction, right? Some lingering issue that needs to be resolved. And this Four of Swords is saying, look, it's this week is the week to really get this cleared away. And it doesn't matter if it's you reaching out or if they reach out. Someone's got to make the first, you know, offer the first olive branch, right? But once you're able to, to get this cleared away, whatever the issue is, whatever the, the lingering uh, conversation that needs to be had or whatever is going on there, once this is cleared up, then the future is looking really good for you because we've got, we've got a couple things. We got, you know, in these readings, in the path of the dove, there's always an immediate future. On the path of the serpent, there's also more of a long-term future, right? So in the immediate future, it really is this doorway. I mean, this is, I mean, the card just looks like a gateway. And this gateway is really to a new phase, a next level kind of future for you, right? So it's like you're, you're building this foundation, you're getting your, your, your wellness and your health in order, creating a stable, you know, core, stable foundation. You're creating a stable financial foundation. You're getting some security with your employment. You're making a stable home. Everything is like basic needs are really strong, right? And beyond this, it's going to be just built. You're, you're building 
vertically. You're just going straight up, right? And this is like a next level kind of future. This is really, um, this is really like you stepping through this doorway. And once these past issues are cleared up, then you can finally kind of, you know, in some ways cut ties with that past, move into this future, which is, it's going to look like a completely different timeline, like a completely different universe. It's going to be, I think, really major growth for you. And I don't know what you're working towards. I don't know what your goals are in life. I don't know what kind of a career path you're on or a spiritual path, whatever it is. I think it's really some major, major things that are coming in your future. And it's just really a matter of clearing out this, this air that's still here, that's this lingering air. There's some sort of heaviness or tension. Again, I think with a maternal type figure, because of this Empress card down here beneath the surface. And I think this is the last thing that's kind of preventing you from really attaining this future, really unlocking the door to this. I mean, that card is just, this is an amazing, you know, gateway. It's like a, like a stargate into, into this amazing future, right? And it's really the card that's going to transport you into this future and the future that we're going to look at on the path of the serpent as well to kind of get more details about that. But there are a couple cards still left on the path of the dove here. And the first one I just want to mention briefly, this is the recent past. This I think is, um, I know this is a court card. This is a prince of discs, right? And so it would be easy to say, well, hey, look, there's still some, some lingering issue with this younger male energy um, uh, earth sign person, probably, right? There's some issue that's going on there. Maybe this is uh, a younger sibling. Maybe this is um, some other younger family member, earth energy, earth person, right? And it could be that these two are, are uh, a, a set, right? And there's this lingering issue involving the both of these, right? It, it, this could be, this is one scenario. It could be, you know, mom and younger brother, something like that, right? But there's some issue here that needs to be cleared up. Now that, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of a feeling that that could be the case, okay? That's a possibility. But more than that, I think I'm getting a stronger signal that this, this Prince of Discs is not another person. This is your focus. This is your hard work. This is your... Um, kind of daily grind that you've been working really hard at building this foundation. So this, you know, since it is a recent past card and it really flows nicely. And again, I'm going to get that overhead camera so you can see how this, um, you know, these three cards really, well, let me do this way so you can see them. It really does flow one into the other, right? It's that Prince of Discs building up that castle, that Four of Discs, and that is going to propel you. That is going to be like your home base for this future, this future status, whatever this next level thing is for you, right? So this is a, a very nice linear flow of energy, okay? And that is one reason why I'm thinking that this Prince of Discs is not another person, though it could be that younger sibling or some kind of a younger earth energy person. But I think this really is just your daily grind. This is the, the history of your work that's leading to this, the building of this foundation, right? Of your health, your wealth, fitness, finances, safety, security, stability. And you've been working really hard at this, right? Prince of Discs is um, someone that's really involved in the physical realm, someone that really gets their hands dirty, doing the physical work, right? Has a good head on their shoulders, kind of knows what they're doing, where they're headed and why they're doing it, but doesn't worry about that day to day, just goes out and does the grind day after day, knowing that eventually they're gonna reach their goal or one, one resting place. And I think that one resting place is right now. And I think it's this four of discs. Basic needs are met, your basic foundations are built and they're strong and they're good, right? They're, they're in place and they're ready to go. And now there's just this lingering four. And this issue needs to be cleared up in order for you to continue on this linear trajectory with this, you know, hardworking, goal-oriented energy. 
into whatever future this looks like. And maybe you'll leave me some comments and let me know, you know, what, what it is that you're working towards, you know, and just let me know if this resonates with you. And the next card is up above all of this. And, and this is really, um, kind of the whole reading in a nutshell, or at least I think the path of the, of the dove in a nutshell. And this is the chariot. Now the chariot, uh, what does this say about the reading? As, as a whole, as a complete unit of energy. Well, I think this is in some ways your hesitancy to resolve this conflict, right? I think maybe this, is, if it is something like with mom or younger brother or sibling, uh, and there is some kind of tension there that's been lingering for a while, some sort of issue that needs to be resolved, I think it's been there for a while, right? I think you've known for some time that, look, eventually you're going to have to have this conversation or eventually you're going to have to go through this, this experience, but you've been delaying it. You've been putting it off. You've been trying to avoid it or trying to ignore the fact that one day it's going to come up or one day you're going to have to take care of this thing, right? So you've been kind of protecting yourself against it. You've been kind of, uh, you know, growing a thicker skin so when the day does come, you'll kind of be ready for it. But at the same time, it's something that you've been trying to put off as long as possible, right? And that's, that's the feeling I'm getting with this chariot. Is that you are ready for it, mostly. You're pretty prepared, mostly, maybe just kind of mentally or in the back of your mind. You just know that, yeah, someday I'm going to have to go through this, but not today, right? That's kind of the energy that I'm getting. I'm kind of ready, and eventually, but not today. And I think this is your reluctance to really go ahead with this. And again, this is the only thing that's really preventing you from propelling into this new next level, amazing future. That's just beyond this threshold, just through this gateway, this doorway, right? So, you know, if this is something with family, it's understandable. This is going to be not an easy thing to resolve, to, to get through, to have this conversation, to have this experience. But I think you're as ready for it as you will ever be. And it could be one of those things that is going to happen whether you're ready or not. So you might as well prepare yourself, fortify yourself mentally, emotionally, physically, even spiritually, just be ready for it. Know that it's going to happen at any day. Uh, you might as well get this over with as soon as possible if you can, because you're kind of as ready as, as you will ever be for this. There's only so much you can do to prepare, right? So I think that's the feeling that I'm getting with this, with this chariot card, that this is, this really is the main theme of the reading is, is you being ready and, and willing to get through this, to handle this Handle this Four of Swords business, whatever this is, whatever it is with this maternal type figure, okay? Because again, that is the only thing stopping you from having this amazing future, stepping through this doorway, right? It's a definite step that you have to take to get to this future. Now, let's look a little bit more about this future on the path of the serpent here. I'll move that out of the way. So the path of the serpent here, the first card that we see is a five of swords. This is in the position of your headspace, your general energy, your ego, your mind state right now. And I think this really does touch on that chariot card, that reluctance to have this discussion, right? This is you kind of knowing that the attempt to hash this issue out, resolve this conflict, clear the air, whatever this kind of resolution is, is going to cause you grief. It's going to cause you mental stress. It's going to be an upsetting, unpleasant experience, right? And I think you're anticipating it being kind of miserable. You're not expecting to have a whole heck a lot of, a lot of fun doing this, right? So we see a five of swords here. We see this kind of worry or stress, this, this anticipation of some upset, some just some stress and anxiety, right? You're worried about 
what's going to happen, how it's going to feel, um, what the outcome will be, etc. So we see the Five of Swords there. And it's interesting because the Four of Swords, this is like, okay, you're going to hash this thing out. Five of Swords is the next number, right? It's like, what's going to be the aftermath of this attempt to clear the air? Well, you're anticipating it being just a lot of a lot of upset feelings, a lot of just stress, friction, chaos, anxiety, right? I think that's kind of, that's where your head is at. It's almost like you're, you're already feeling the effects of that before it's even happened. Do you know what I mean? Is that resonating with you? Um, but the next card, the next card is a six of wands. This is a balanced, beautiful, fair, very harmonious card. This is this is one of those win-win kind of cards, right? This is a, a six of wands. This is that spiritual fiery energy, this confidence, this sense of victory and accomplishment that's equal on both sides. It's equal on the top and the bottom, inside, outside, up, down, all around. So I think, and again, this is in the position of your relationships, right? This is, this is how you're going to be relating to the other people involved. So I think a lot of this stress, worry, anxiety, fear that you have of what will be the aftermath of this path of the dove, right? This, the resolution of this conflict. I don't think it's going to go that way. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised that everybody is going to come out of this feeling better, feeling like they got the most out of it, right? Everybody's going to feel really confident in themselves, in the situation, and in the events that are going to take place regarding that issue. Right? Everybody's going to feel like they came out the winner. They came out with their confidence restored, with their spiritual energy renewed, their vitality back. Everyone's going to feel pretty good about this. It's going to be a win win. So I think a lot of your fear and anxiety is kind of, well, just as the swords are, it's all in your head. It's all in your mind. You're kind of, you're feeling the, the stress and anxiety of this before it's even happened, right? And I don't think it's going to go down the way that you're anticipating with this card. I think it's going to go down a lot better, a lot better than you are, you're thinking, right? Does that make sense? And so the next card is in the position of your fears, worries, concerns. And this is another air sign card. This is another older female energy air sign. It could be that this maternal figure over here is another air sign. Okay. And this, these two cards, if they are connected, I think this as your fear and your worry is kind of um, how this person is going to react to this discussion when, when this Four of Swords event takes place and the air is cleared and that discussion happens or whatever that experience needs to be, whatever that event needs to be to resolve whatever's going on. I think you're worried how this person's going to react because um, it feels like you... you not that you're scared of this person, but you hold them as a, as a much higher authority. Maybe they were a very strict person, or maybe there's just this, this feeling of like not wanting to let them down, not wanting to disappoint them. But there's a little bit of anxiety there about how they're going to react. And if they're going to be, you know, peaceful, confident, win-win, or if it's going to be this kind of disaster, chaos, more stress right? And now that I'm looking at these two cards together, I wonder if you're not concerned that this event is going to put more pressure on you from this person, right? That maybe this, this person, and if it is a, a maternal figure, but it's this air sign person, maybe not an air sign. It could be that they just have this rather dominating presence, right? They, they're very authoritative with their communication, right? They're very kind of, I don't want to say controlling, uh, but they're just really assertive with their, with their words, right? I'm, I'm trying to put it nicely. Um, 
but it could be that you're worried about them really speaking down to you and causing you this five of swords, this like mental anguish, like you're being defeated, like you're being put down or you're being attacked kind of by their words. So I think you're worried that they're going to get just kind of angry and they're going to be really dominating with, with their words toward you. Do, you. do you know what I mean? I'm trying to, trying to be as nice as possible here. So I think this is part of the, the fear, how they're going to react, how they're going to respond to you when this event takes place. Are they, just, are they going to be mean and kind of venomous and, and attack you verbally, right? And kind of try to put you down and put you into this five of swords position, this kind of almost like a defensive kind of stance where you're feeling kind of attacked, right? I think that's what your concern is. And maybe this is a very strict maternal figure. Maybe they had a really dominating kind of event. Maybe they like to yell a lot, right? Something like that. But again, we see with this six of wands that, you know, I think, I think things are going to be a lot better than, than you're anticipating. I think things are really going to come out a lot smoother, a lot more win-win, a lot more feeling good about it than you originally thought. And this really is one of the only fire cards that we see. So this is very important to me. And I think that this is connected with this fire card. Okay. So this win-win, this good, fair, balanced, confident uh, resolution to this issue is really necessary for you to get into this future state, to really go through this doorway, this gateway into this amazing future that we see for you. Do you know what I mean? So having this win-win, having this confidence, going through this situation and really feeling good about it is going to really propel you into this fire on fire, man. You've got to use this fire to get through this gateway. And this fire is going to come through the successful resolution of all of this earth and air energy with this person that's really going to build up your fiery spiritual energy, this confidence that is going to really push you into your future. Okay. Now, as the long-term future card, this, I mean, can't get any better than this. Six of discs, beauty, harmony, balance, fulfillment, success. This is material success. This is like saying your future is going to be just amazing, balanced, beautiful, luxurious, fulfilling, satisfying, your health, your health is going to be just amazing and balanced. Your financial life is going to be just amazing and beautiful. And your domestic life and your just everything in the physical realm is going to just blossom for you into this wonderful alignment of energy. And it's just going to shine. It's going to grow. It's going to reach into every corner of your life and just create abundance. Right. And that is what's through this doorway is this wonderful success. Now, I always say with the earth cards, with these discs, that these cards, the earth cards contain every other element. So this is not just financial success and like having a nice house, right? This is emotional fulfillment, mental fulfillment, spiritual fulfillment, confidence. It contains all of those other elements. All levels of your being are going to blossom and flower and be fruitful and abundant and successful and beautiful and harmonious. And this energy is really going to just reach out into every area of your life and create this wonderful success. So you're really on this path of, of just terrific growth, right? And abundance. And it's just a matter of getting through this issue and utilizing some of this fiery energy to push you with confidence through this gateway into the rest of your life. But this lingering issue needs to be taken care of. Now, Let's take a look at this confirmation card because this, I mean, what could this be? I feel like we've, we've already had a lot of confirmation, right? We've already seen, you know, a lot of uh, references to the other cards here. We see a lot of, you know, the earth cards were very straightforward. We had the fire that matched up with the fire. We've had the air that matched up with the air. So everything seemed like it really connected well, right? So what could this be? Maybe uh, some water. Because this really is the only thing that we're missing here is the water. And I think personally, now I haven't looked at this card. 
I'm feeling like this is going to be a water card to reinforce this idea that this beautiful future for you, this abundant, successful future, really is going to have as a focus the emotional component, the compassionate, uh, empathetic, emotional, intuitive, value-based energy to it. That is kind of what we've seen missing here is the feeling, right? And I think that is what is going to be emphasized here. Now, I could be wrong. It's been known to happen. No, I'm not wrong. There we go. That's the Ace of Cups. This is a confirmation on top of a confirmation on top of a confirmation. Okay, so this mystery card here is exactly what I thought it would be, right? Now, if you need any other evidence that, um, you know, I really try to tune in to the energy that I'm, that I'm receiving in these readings, this is the real deal, okay? Now, maybe you watch hundreds of tarot videos uh, on YouTube. I hope that you'll come back and watch this channel. I hope you'll subscribe to this channel because I take this seriously, okay? So, you know, I've already explained what I think this, this is indicating. I think it really is saying that this future that you have that is going to be successful and abundant and reach into every other area of your life, right? So it already includes the water, the emotional component. I think some extra attention needs to be placed on that watery element, on your feeling of love and compassion and passion. Your feeling of being in love and being enthusiastic and excited and filled with this divine bliss, grace, this love energy, being filled with this wonderful, satisfying water and expressing it to the others in your life, letting it flow into you and out of you, through you, around you. I think this has to be a major focus because again, we didn't see any water in the reading until now. And this water is the, this is like the seed of, of all of this pleasure and satisfaction, fulfillment, enthusiasm, right? Compassion and understanding this feeling of being in love again with everything, right? But this is an ace. This is the one. This is the unity. This is still a solid like seed of all of that energy. So it's really up to you to nourish this, focus on this, give it the attention that it needs so it can grow. Now, I already think it will because of this six of discs that it contains everything else, right? Your, your uh, intellectual growth, your, your spiritual growth, your emotional growth, physical well-being and abundance. But some extra care needs to be put on the emotional aspect. Your feelings, your desires, your satisfaction, your sense of self-worth, the value that you place on other things, other people, experiences and events, that feeling of being in love, right? Needs a little extra attention from you moving into the future. Clear this issue up with this air, right? Clear that air, focus on your future, walk through that doorway with that fiery confidence and focus on the watery aspect of your life. Really incorporate this because this is what's been lacking. Now, Libra, we're going to take a look at this a little bit more in the extended version. You can become a member of this channel by clicking on the link in the description box. Uh, this was your weekly tarot forecast on Dove and Serpent Tarot.